This is how to upgrade every bow in the custom zombies map, Iron Dragon, which essentially is just Derizon Drac 2.0. And just like Derizon Drac, you're gonna need to fill up three dragon heads around the map. The first one here is right outside of spawn. You open up like two doors and the dragon head's right there on the wall. The next location for the dragon head is outside in this little courtyard area next to Electric Cherry. It's right here on the wall. It's kind of hard to see, honestly, but if you're coming in from the castle, it's the door on the left will get you to this dragon. And the final dragon head location is the same one as it is on Derizon. It's just in the little control room and it's in the same exact spot as it is on Derizon. Every dragon head is going to need about seven to eight zombies, maybe six. It's six to eight. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same as it is on DE. But I would also recommend trying to get the bow as fast as possible because the panzers on this map are genuinely no joke. And basically, once you've filled up all the zombies, you're going to need to find where the bow location. What the f and the easiest way to do this is come from the first dragon and head straight across the bridge. It's basically honestly just a straight shot to the bow. Then you literally turn right and it's right there. Now moving on into the upgrades. Starting us off with the lightning bow, come over to the bridge and look up and you will see the exact same compass thingy from Derizon. I don't know if it's a compass or not, but shoot it with your bow and right outside it'll drop the arrow. For the next step of the lightning bow, you're gonna need to light the bonfires, but the easiest way to do this is to unlock Pack-a-Punch and go to the top. You don't know how to unlock Pack-a-Punch. All you gotta do is you gotta grab four orbs from around the map. There's gonna be one right in the church podium where you cleanse the stone on Origins. The other three require you to teleport into the Origin robot heads and pick up the orbs there. Easiest way to do this is just by turning on power and then in a couple of the different rooms, there's the portals there's one next to speed cola there's one next to the power and the final one is all the way down in the premise statue room next up make your way all the way to the top of the castle you're gonna see all these podiums and then you're gonna place all of the respective orbs into the podiums and then this just turns into a soul box that you need to fill it's around 25 ish zombies but then once you filled up all the souls the summoning key is going to appear in the middle podium take it over to the podium on the left side of the room next to the soe symbols and then you're going to place it there and the wall will reveal itself and there will be a staircase now allowing you to go all the way up top to pack a punch the first bonfire you can actually see from meal kick you don't even need to go all the way up top you'll see it here line it up bang so the next two bonfires you can actually see from the left and right sides of pack a punch the first one is going to be over by this landing pad and you're going to go up these stairs and you'll see the bonfire on your right hand side this one's very easy to hit and then your next bonfire is going to be at the top of the stairs that you came up and you'll see it in the distance there the next step is you're going to need to come over to this locker this locker is right next to where you pick up the wrath of the ancients literally just shoot it open and you'll pick up that part the next step is to come into power and on the right hand side you'll be able to insert that fuse when the game gate opens go to the right hand corner and pick up the coil and then our final step head to the right side of pack a punch you'll be able to place the coil down and then right in front of pack a punch your reforged arrow will spawn and the final step of this all is just, just take it down to the premise statue room and then you're going to place it in its like podium thing and then you're just going to fill it with souls and you'll have your lightning bow and our next bow we're going to be going over is the one Noah J never did, the fire bow. Come over to Jug and look over the right side next to the flat gun. You'll see that little chamber thingy on the ground. You're just going to shoot it with your bow and the arrow will drop right alongside the edge. Our next step is exactly like Derizon. You're going to have to take the launch pads and you're going to have to shoot the symbols in the sky. These ones are a lot easier than DE in my opinion. It's basically just a straight shot. If you're wondering where the Wonder Spheres pads are, there's one on the bridge that you fed the first dragon at and then the final one is up at pack a punch i did find out however if you are using an upgraded bow you will have to use that upgraded bow to shoot the symbols on the ground otherwise it will not register for some reason i don't know if this will get fixed in the future but that's just an fyi but once you've shot a symbol on the ground and you see that it's glowing you're going to do the same thing as de just stand in the circle and kill zombies again you'll need to do this with your upgraded bow if you're using one do this for all three symbols next up once you finish that go into the control room and you're going to shoot the fireplace with your bow this is going to spawn a max ammo and then interact with the fireplace and this will basically give you a confirmation noise and then once that confirmation noise is over you're going to head back over to the death ray and then once you're there you're going to see a sun floating and then you're going to interact with it and it'll blow up you then need to jump to pick up your arrow so do that then take it all the way downstairs to the premise statue room and fill it up with souls for the void bow you're going to come to the end of the bridge and in between the two gates you're going to see the void bow like 
symbol thing on the wall. Shoot it with your bow, it'll explode and it'll drop the arrow. Next, come into the circular room and shoot the urn with your bow. It's gonna start yapping its little mouth. And then this is basically just gonna be like DE. You're gonna need to find six skulls scattered around the map. Thankfully, these are all pretty easy. You can find the first one literally right next to Electric Cherry. Then head up to the death ray and in this room next to the Og wall by, you'll see another skull. Then if you take the Wonder Sphere, right when you land on your left hand side, there will be another skull. Pick that up. And then head into the Origins Church and on the left hand side of where you clean the stone and where you got the orb, there's gonna be a skull sitting there. Pick that one up. Then if you come in from the bridge, head straight right and then literally right in front of you on a barrel, there will be another skull. Pick that one up. Then our final one is gonna be on the right hand side on a little sandbag next to Double Tap. Now run back into the same room where you shot the urn and then he's gonna start talking again. Then he will say his name. If you enter his name incorrectly, just like with Dorizen, the skulls will start flying around and they can kill you very easily. Here are the names and the symbols. So in my game, I got Crown, Door, and Griffin. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the symbols on the ground and whichever ones are your symbols, interact with them in the same order that it said its name. So I did Crown, Door, Griffin. He'll say, that's my name. The urn's gonna explode and you can pick up your reforged arrow from the middle of the table. Then once again, you can take the arrow down into the premise statue room and fill it up with souls. And last but not least is the wolf bow. Come into this like room where you just did like all the void bow stuff right outside of it going towards power you're going to shoot that painting and if you hit it correctly it's going to go bidding and you'll hear that noise. Next up, you're gonna have to find the other three paintings around the map. They do not change. Now, if you're coming from the speed cola room, go through the left side and right along the stairs, you'll see the second painting, interact with it, and then go to the other side of the speed cola room and your third painting will be on that wall. From the Wrath of the Agents, head down the stairs and to the right and your painting's gonna be on the right-hand side of the wall. And then what you're gonna do is go over to the premise statue room. And from right when you walk in, head over to the right side of the room, the wall is gonna burst open and you can pick up your arrow the next step is to shoot the flag and it's gonna be sitting over here on like a little like hill it's right next to the origins church and basically you're just gonna have to shoot it with any bow that you have it'll drop the skull right in front of you next head down to the wolf boast like podium thing and then on the right hand side interact with the skeleton this is gonna give you a shovel next go back to where you originally spawned and you're gonna interact with the gravestone that's marked with the wolf head this is gonna give you a reforged arrow and then just take it down to the premise room statue and fill it up with souls but yeah guys that's how you built every single bow on the iron dragon this map is so awesome guys if you have not checked this map out yet i highly recommend it it is so much fun being able to play a reimagined version of Derizendrak and once the easter egg actually gets fully solved i'll be making a video on that i'll have a dg4 tutorial coming out very shortly as well so if you enjoyed today's video leave a like hit that sub and i hope you have a great day